Alright guys, welcome back and in this video, I'm going to show you how Flask can respond differently depending on the type of HTTP method. So the different HTTP methods we're going to be covering in this little video is just going to be get and post. Now, even though we didn't explicitly say it in the last uh, two tutorials, whenever we requested a URL from our little sample web page, we were using the get method. And that's what we're going to be using most of the time. However, whenever you work with forms, and I don't know, maybe you have some form on your website and you want the user to submit some information, then you're going to need post. So we'll talk about those differences right now. But before we do, we actually need to import one more module and that is request. So this module just gives you information about how the user requested a resource, in this case, a web page. And we'll just keep this one right there. So we have a little, you know, demo, a little baseline. And actually for the home page, since this is what this function is right here, let's output the type of request. So we'll say method used. And then I'll just write percent s. And I'll just write request method. All right. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to print out whenever they go to the home page, what request method they use, whether it was and whether it was get post, what have you. So actually, let me delete this so I don't get any errors and run this and check it out. All right, so method used get. Now remember, by default, whenever you just go to any web page on the internet, they're delivering that through get. However, like I said, sometimes we're gonna need to use post, specifically, or the majority of the time, whenever we're working with forms. So how do we do that? Well, we'll keep this page right here and we'll make another page called like a uh, bacon and we'll say that this page has some kind of form on it. Well, the first thing that we need to do is after the URL in your route, we need to throw in another parameter and that is methods. So remember, what happens is whenever we run this web server, by default, bacon can only handle git. However, we want to add post to that as well. So we're going to throw in a list with git, and this is pretty much the default one, but we also want to add post. Now we're saying this bacon page right here, it's capable of handling both git and post. So now let me actually change the function name to bacon, and I'll write uh, something like this. Let's just go ahead and check if this method is get or post and then print something out depending on what type it is. So say if request method is equal to get, like we saw right here, then what do we want to do? We'll just uh, print out, uh, actually let's check if it's equal to post first since that's kind of what we're doing. We'll just print out or return you are using post. Now I'm just going to make an else statement because we won't specifically check for git, but we're just going to assume that if it's not post, it's just going to be git. So return, uh, we'll say you are probably using git. All right. So whenever the user goes to the bacon page, what happens is it looks at the method and if they're using post, it's going to print this out. If they're using get, it's going to print this out. Now check, actually, let me restart that. And check it out. So bacon, now by default, like I said, whenever you just go to it in a browser, it's using get right there. And through Chrome, it's difficult just to submit post to a URL since it's really not set up that way. But what you can do is this. I downloaded this um, extension from the App Store, or I don't even know if it's in, called an extension, an app, I guess, and it's called Postman. And it's a really handy tool for developing because it can allow you to throw in a URL and you can either send it using Git as your request method and you see the output right here. So whenever I do that, it says you are probably using Git. And then if I wanna use Post, 
I just change this to post and send it again. And now it says you are using post. So we really don't have this drop down list in any browser, probably for a good reason. But sometimes when you're developing, you need to, you know, switch up your request methods. So that's what you do. And now we can confirm that this indeed does work. So we'll recognize post and also get like we saw before. And there you go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can use different request methods and handle them in different kind of ways. So if you guys don't really know about um, the different request methods, fear not, because in the upcoming tutorials, I'm going to show you guys how to work with forms and how to, you know, do everything you need to do. So now that we have our feet wet, ready to hop into some other topics, going to be awesome. I'll see you guys then.